Well, hey, everybody. It is Saturday, July 9th, 2022, and this is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com coming to you live, and it is actually, instead of date night, it's uh, breakfast time. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're doing an early morning. I was trying to do it at lunchtime, but I have to be at work at 12, so uh, we're a little bit early today, so hopefully you guys are awake. And um, we'll be doing some fun cards. We're doing five cards, so you get a five for five, five cards for the price of one, which is always free. So, um, oh, I don't even have the card sitting here. <laughs> so we're doing this one. Actually, we're gonna make five of them. So all these cards plus one more. So this is what we're making. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Zena. Hey, Judy. How are y'all doing? I know it's earlier than I thought it was going to be. Hey, Karen. Hey, Leanne. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Gina. Hey, Deborah. Gosh, all you guys remembered. I'm so excited. <laughs> I thought for sure nobody would be on here. So <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll just go do the video by myself. Nobody will be watching. Um, so I am glad you guys are on here. Hey, Valerie. Hey, how is everybody doing this morning? It's kind of a gloomy day here. It's kind of yucky. It rained last night and uh, it's very cloudy and kind of yucky. Um, I don't know why I'm so nasally this morning. I took my allergy medicine about an hour ago, but I guess it hasn't kicked in yet. But um, this is a card that we did in my class last uh, week before last. So we're going to be making this today. And um, since it was so easy and I had a bunch left over, I thought we'd go ahead and do five of them. So it is a super easy card to make multiples of, and it's using the um, True Beauty stamp set. And I think the paper is called A Wash and Beauty or something. Let me, let me look up the name of it real quick because I forgot. It's in the big catalog on page, hold on, oh, here it is. A Wash and Beauty, yep. Okay, so A Wash and Beauty on page 131. So it's this paper right here, and I have a ton of it. I have like six packs. So I wanted to use some of it up. So we've got the blue piece right here, and then this piece right here, the ones that we're using. And I just cut them up. And you know what I forgot to do, since I was in a hurry this morning, was do the measurements. How could I forget that? Hold on, let me do them real quick while we're while we're getting started. So we're making these four cards and we're using this stamp set, which is absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna be using the flower and the leaves and the words from that. So it's called True Beauty and it's in the big catalog. So we're using that. And then you need five pieces. Let me do my little cards. Five and a half by eight and a half white. And that's folded in half. You need five of those. And then you need five of these, which is the designer paper, and that is five and a quarter by four of the DSP A Wash in Beauty. Sorry, I didn't do this ahead of time. I'm just a little scatterbrained and not all the way awake this morning. Let me move these out of the way. So we've got those, and then we've got these pieces right here, and I don't remember the measurements, so let me see if I can find my little ruler. Here we go. All right, so we've got, this is so saffron, and it is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So three and a quarter by four and a quarter of so saffron. And you need five of those. Oh, I forgot to put five of these, too. So five of everything. Or if you want to make ten and you're really, like, you have lots of energy and you have nothing to do today, you can do ten. So this one is three by four. And I did that because you can get a lot more pieces. Because if you do three by four, you get twelve. So that is three by four DSP. A wash in beauty. I need five of those. And then you need five of these. These are the little um, tailored tag punches. So five of those, I'm not gonna write that out. These are just little. They're only, 
two and a quarter inches. Need five of those. And that's it. Oh, and ribbon. Need some ribbon. And this ribbon is from this pack. It's Old Olive and Sahara Sand Twill Ribbon Combo Pack. So you get the um, Sahara Sand and the Old Olive. And the Old Olive is thinner than the Sahara, the, the Sahara Sand. I've not been drinking today. <laughs> uh, okay, so the Old Olive is a little bit thinner than the Sahara Sand one. And so I just went ahead and tied the bows for those ahead of time. So that's all you need for these cards. So if you want to take a screenshot of that real quick, then we'll get started. Whoops, I should have left this right here. Hold on, I'll put it back. So there you go. So screenshot of that. And let me read some comments real quick. Oh, let me see. Oh my gosh, look at all the people on here. How is everybody? Let me see. Was it supposed to be at 10? <laughs> it's 7.40. <laughs> Cheryl, <laughs> you poor thing. It's 10.45 here in Virginia. And um, I was going to do it at noon, but then I remembered I have to be at work at noon. So um, I'm coming on a little bit early. So this is date morning with Lisa. So um, warm and sunny in the UK. It's warm here and very humid, but it's cloudy. Um, it's hot in Texas. Yes, it's always hot in Texas. Um, Sue says, you are being bothered on your comments. Uh-oh, what happened? Somebody was on here bothering you or on your own videos or something? Um, yes, Judy, I do have lots of post-it notes because Lorraine sent me like a hundred million of them. So I have a stack now, so I'm good. My mom is doing good. I went and saw her a couple days ago. She's doing good. Um, oh, Kathy, you watched the whole series, The Summer I Turned Pretty. It is so good. And they're making a second series. Oh, good, good. Cause that was, that was like, it's a good one to binge watch. So, if you have, like, nothing to do today or tomorrow, I would watch that. It's on um, Prime, Amazon Prime. So, uh, where is Debbie Spicer? You know what? It's really early for her. It's three hours earlier, so it's only 7.45 for her. So, um, she is probably still sleeping. And she's going to be so upset she missed it. Because I said it was going to be about noon, which would be like nine o'clock for her. So she probably slept in and she's going to get up and find out we already had a video. Hey, Pauline. Um, you have never caught me live before. Dang, you must be an early riser because normally I'm on here at seven o'clock at night. Hello, 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 everybody. Hey, Judith. Um, yes, my mom is doing better. Um, all right, so we have breakfast time with Lisa today. So we're going to be making these cards. We're going to be doing five because I did this card the other day and I had like seven left, you know, seven sets of them left. And I said, well, I'll just make like five today because it's a really easy card. Because if I only did one, we'd be done in like five minutes. So that's why I said we'll do multiples. And I know you guys have nothing else to do today except watch me. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> I wish I had nothing better to do today than just watch me. <laughs> but I got to go to work. Oh. And it was so boring last night. We were dead. I mean, so dead. And we just sat there. I got a lot of work done, like, at work. But not stamping work, but just work work. So, that was good. But I wish I could take all my stamping stuff with me and do that at work. Then that would be even more fun. All right, so what we're going to do is stamp. Let's stamp the inside first. And I need a piece of scrap paper. So this is what I did on the inside. I just stamped the flower a couple times and then did the um, leaves on there. So we're going to do that first. And then I'll do the words. So we're using Mary Merlot, which I love this color. I think it's so pretty. So we're going to do the flower, ink it up. And then just stamp it like once and then twice on each one. 
So we'll just, oops, these are all backwards. Oh, ah, dang it, look at that. Got ink on it. Don't you hate that? I was making um, breakfast this morning and I made French toast and I just had bought these blueberries last week at the grocery store and they were starting to get um, a little wrinkly. You know when you get them and you've had them for like a week and they start to um, lose their plumpness and you're like, oh, I better hurry up and use those suckers because they're going bad. So I said, well, I'll make French toast and I'll make a blueberry sauce to go with it. And uh, I didn't have any orange juice because you're supposed to use orange juice in this blueberry sauce. So I said, well, huh. I stopped by an orange juice because I realized it's just sugar with some flavor in it. So <laughs> I don't drink orange juice anymore. I'm going to do the um, words right here. You're a true friend. So I use some lemon juice and then mix the blueberries with sugar. I know, I'm trying not to use sugar, but I use sugar. Um, so water, sugar, oh, that is crooked. Let me grab another one. So it's blueberries, water, sugar, um, a little cornstarch, um, and what else? Oh, lemon juice. And then I just took like a potato masher and smushed them up and um, then let it come to a boil and um, made, why is the stamping so crooked? It can't be me. <laughs> At least I have a bunch of these. <laughs> uh, okay, that's still kind of crooked. Oh, uh, I'm telling you, I'm just not awake yet. So anyway, you let it come to a boil and then it thickens up and um, then you got your blueberries. So I made my French toast with this bread I found. It's Sara Lee maple brown sugar bread. It's artisan, but it's Sara Lee and it's so yummy. I know I'm not being very good on my diet, but um, so there's the words. Now we're gonna go back and add the leaves on here. So we're just gonna take mossy meadow and get our leaves. So what I'm gonna do is ink it up once, stamp it twice. So we're gonna stamp it like here and there. So now you got two of those. And uh, has anybody ever tried that? Hey, Anya, you're sitting in your craft room <gasps> making a card from Thursday, a Foley food mill. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, Judy, you got my card yesterday, yay. Um, anyway, the Sara Lee, it's Sara Lee artisan bread and it's maple brown sugar and it makes the best French toast. Um, all right, so there's some more leaves and just do that on each one. So we'll have, um, I don't want to get it off the edge because then it's, um, getting that tip there. I'm trying to do it more flat. There we go. All right, so double time with the leaves. So that comes out really pretty like that. All right, so the inside's done. And we're actually done stamping. So now we, all we have to do is put them together. So that was super easy. So let's get our ink put away. Let me clean my stamps real quick. I don't want to put them in the box. All inky. All right, so here we go. We've got... All the fronts, I mean the inside bases, done. So that's five cards there. And then we're just going to put them all together. So we're going to do all these glued first. So I'm just going to use my green glue because that's my favorite. And put that down. So I made my French toast and the blueberry sauce on top. And then I've got some Cool Whip and put that on top. And the secret with that is don't put the Cool Whip on top of the hot blueberries because what happens is it will just melt. So you got to put the Cool Whip like on the side. And uh, then you can have a bite of French toast, a bite of blueberries, and a bite of Cool Whip. And it was so delicious, let me tell you. But the only problem when you eat a breakfast like that is that it makes you sleepy because it's just total sugar. So now I don't feel like doing anything. <laughs> 
So I've taken a nap, and now i got to go to work. So I'm all ready, and, and uh, I did my makeup, you know, took my shower, did my hair. So all I have to do is um, put my clothes on to go to work. So I thought I'd get this video done real quick before I go. And I am doing a little gift for my coworkers today because they they've been so good. You know, we've been a little bit shorthanded lately and they've all been helping out. So, oops, I do have a really good team at work. All right, so we've got the back piece on. Now this piece right here, what I did was I kind of curled up the edges. If you want to, if you want to be real creative, you could just crumble this whole thing up. How did we get to talking about cats? Chew up everything. <laughs> you guys are having a whole conversation about cats. You know, I am not a cat person. I am very, 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 very deathly allergic to cats. Um, my daughter has two, so she knows I'm never going to come visit her. But uh, I just, if I'm in the same room with a cat, oh my God, my whole head just... Uh, get stuffed up. My throat closes up. I start coughing. All right, so this one we're crumbling up and we'll see what it looks like. So we're going to put some of that on with the glue. I kind of like it like this though, but some people don't like that shabby chic look. If you don't like the shabby chic look, then just don't even crumble it. Just put it down flat and leave it like that. Oh, Gina and Sue are friends from chatting. Okay. I see. The French toast sounds yummy and haven't had, oh my gosh, I make French toast probably at least once a week. All right, so then just kind of crinkle these corners up a little bit and then put this one on and I think, did I put it on flat? I did. So we're gonna put that one on the other direction like that. And if you're not a, um, you know, wonky kind of person and you have to have your straight, you can do that too. They are um, the size where you can just layer them if you wanna just put them that way and stick it on and have everything straight. You can do it that way too. I wanted it like cattywampus direction. Okay, all these are gonna go on with dimensionals. So let's put dimensionals on them. And I think a couple will do it. yesterday I'm telling you you know we were not very busy at work but we had some of the crankiest people coming in and it was kind of frustrating me because you know I'm a really nice person most of the time and when somebody comes in and they're just like cranky pants right from the get-go it really bothers me and I just like look at them like why are you so cranky when I'm just here to help you and, um, you know, you ask them questions like, what brings you in today? And they say, I don't feel good. Well, obviously, that's why you're here, you know, because you don't feel good. But you need to give me a little bit more to go on than just that. Because I can't really say, you know, doesn't feel well. Because <laughs> my job is to, you know, put on the screen what they're here for so that by the time they get to the back, they know, okay, this person needs an x-ray, they need lab work, they need whatever. So I kind of give them a heads up of what this person is needing so they can go ahead and order it, you know, for that person. So if I just put, um, feel sick, that doesn't really give them much of a heads up. So some people are just difficult. All right, so then we're going to put that on there like that. So there you go. So do you like it better? Which way do you guys like it better? So we've got three choices here. We've got the flat, just flat and straight, boring kind. We have the crumbled up, shabby chic look, or we have just the corners curled up. So which one do you like the best? And I'll do the rest that way. I'll give you a minute. Love the cards. Oh, thank you, Sue. Wonky gives a character. Thank you, Terry. Oh, oh, Judith loves Wonky. Cindy loves Wonky. Um, everybody's loving Wonky. That's good. 
Um, shabby chic corners. Oh, Anya, gonna make some French toast. Mmm. It goes through the same thing at work and at work at the Dollar Tree. Uh yeah, people on the phones, really. All right, my, everybody loves wonky and shabby chic. Cool beans. Okay, so that's what we're, we're going to do. So, um, there's one. So, then I'm just going to crumble these up then. then Uh-oh. Oh, wait a minute. Here's one. I thought I was missing one. So, let's just crumble these up while I talk. So, I was kind of upset. You know, uh, where I live in Chesapeake, Virginia, is the headquarters. <gasps> I just realized I put this on upside down. I stamped that upside down. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so if you buy something from the Dollar Tree and you see on the back of it, it says Greenbrier International. Greenbrier is a section of Chesapeake that I used to live in. So now I live in Deep Creek, but Greenbrier is about 10 minutes from here. And that's where the headquarters is. So the original, the very, very original Dollar Tree was started in Chesapeake. Well, I think it was actually started in Virginia Beach, but um, Chesapeake is where the big headquarters is. And um, so usually whenever they start something new, it starts here and then it moves around to the country. So here they're changing the Dollar Trees to almost all self-checkouts, self which I do not like self-checkout. I think I've told you guys that before. So I went to Dollar Tree the other day and uh, <laughs> Sue says crumbling makes her gasp. <laughs> um, so... I walked in and there was like, uh, let me see, six lanes of checkout. Four were ch the self-checkout and two were regular, but the two regular ones weren't open. It was just the, the self-checkout. And when I go to Dollar Tree, I stock up because I get like, you know, 25 of everything for class projects and stuff. So I, I usually have like a hundred and some things in my cart and because um, I see projects that I want to do for class. And I don't want to ring up all that stuff by myself. So, um, I told the lady one day, you know, there were just two ladies standing there and they weren't even doing anything. And I said, "Is I said, nobody's working the regular checkout. And the one lady goes, no, it's just self-checkout. And the other one goes, oh, no, I'll help you. Come on over. <laughs> I was like, thank you. Because I just didn't want to do it. Not that I'm lazy, but, you know, I just feel like, it's just easier if they just throw it all in there and you got a conveyor belt to put it on and uh, you can ring it up a lot faster because it would take me probably half an hour to ring up all that stuff. Okay, so just put these like crinkled or if you don't want to crinkle them, you don't have to. Let that sit for a minute. Put some on here, whoops. So whenever you buy something from Dollar Tree, you can think of me and think of Lisa lives right down the street. So if you ever come here, you can drive by the Dollar Tree headquarters with me. And we have Dollar Trees like every block almost around here. All right, let that sit for a minute. And they're nice big ones usually. And we get some good stuff. All right, so let me read some comments. Something always goes wrong for me at the self-checkouts. I know it. Um, oh, the machine says $1.25. Isn't that a bummer? But I guess they have to do it, you know. Everything else is going up. I saw somewhere the other day that it's cheaper to buy beer than gas. So you can buy a gallon of beer cheaper than a gallon of gas. So if only beer would uh, make our cars go. <laughs> that would be good. All right, last yellow one. And then we'll do the flowery one. All right, so just hold that down for a minute. When it's crinkly, it takes a minute to stick. And you know, you know, they do have a good craft section. And when I go into the Dollar Tree, you know, I just look for stuff. And sometimes I think, oh, I'll just come in here and buy like three or four things. And then I end up spending a hundred bucks or now $125 because it's gone up. But you know, it's still, most of the stuff in there, you still can't find it cheaper than that anywhere else. Although some things you can, if you look, they do have um, 
some things cheaper other places now that are less than. But even Walmart's gone up. I was ordering stuff from Walmart that used to be like $2 and something, and it's gone up to 3 and $4. All right, so this one I'm just going to put catty-cornered the other direction. Give it a good press. Whenever you have textured stuff, it doesn't stick as well, so you got to hold it down for a minute. But the green glue really works better, I think. All right, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like what you see and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Yeah, Judith, I always feel bad that self-checkout is taking somebody's job too, but um, I'm telling you, people don't want to work. It's like everywhere you go, they're shorthanded. A guy came in the other day, I might have even told you this story. He was a carpenter and he's been a carpenter for like 30 years. And he said he's just going to go ahead and retire because he can't find anybody to help him. You know, he's been through like three or four people in the last few months and they don't just don't show, show up. So he hires people to help him be like an apprentice or whatever. And they just don't even show up. Which is ridiculous. And that's how it is at my work too, you know. I have a, you know, somebody quit a couple of weeks ago. So I hired one person and now I have to hire somebody to replace that person. So... Um, it's just a never ending cycle when you think you're finally fully staffed, somebody quits again. And then I just found out one of my favorite people at work is leaving because she got a job making more money. So I'm hoping our company like opens their eyes and says, Hmm, maybe we should start paying more because, uh Oh, how did I end up with an extra one? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I must have had an extra one. Okay. All right. So, there we go. Now we're going to put all these on. And hopefully these are all the right direction. Oh, and that one's a little bit smeared. So, I made <laughs> spaghetti the other day. And I was stirring the, um, well, it was linguine, actually. I made, a, like, a bolognese sauce and some linguine to go with it. And I was stirring the noodles and it overflow and like it splashed out onto my shirt, which I was in my like nightgown shirt. So I burned my stomach. And uh, so now I have this big burn mark on my stomach, which is bad. But um, my little nightgown I was wearing got covered in spaghetti sauce. And so today I'm making the blueberries and I make I'm wearing another little nightgown kind of thing. And it's covered in blueberries. Um, I have little splatters of blueberry all over my shirt. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm glad you guys can't see me, like, in real life. You can just see my hands. Although, I do have a, a tanning mishap again. So, I was using the tanning stuff and I got <laughs> another... <laughs> another... Um, Stray tan line, I'm telling you. The things I do for myself just crack me up. Of course, it's a good thing people can't see that one too much. All right, so I'm just putting these on kind of crooked and then put the bow on with the glue dot right over top of that hole there. And then we're going to spritz. We could put some gems on here, but I don't think I brought any. I didn't. Oh, actually, I do have some rhinestones. We could put rhinestones on. I do have them sitting right here. We'll see what that looks like. All right, so we've got all the bows on. Let me put the rhinestones on here and see what we look like. And if you like that one better, get all my trash out of the way. Okay, so... Let's check out a couple rhinestones on here. We put one right there and one there and there. All right, so what do you think? Do you like with the rhinestones or without? Hard questions for you guys today. It's like a test, A or B. We have A and B. Which one do you like better? 
Now I have a polka dot sleeve. You know, it's funny because it already is polka dot. So this is what it looks like. It's a polka dot shirt. So it's like, <laughs> it's already blue and white polka dots. But now, here, let me see if I can stretch it far enough. So there's my blueberry <laughs> spots. <laughs> That's one of them. <laughs> so the other one's in the washing machine. <laughs> But I have a pink and blue and a um, a blue, I mean, a pink and a white and a blue and white polka dot shirt. And, um, okay, so you like the rhinestones on there, so that's good. So now it's um, all multicolored with spaghetti sauce and blueberry sauce. So I got to do some laundry. I'll do that tomorrow, maybe. Oops, this one's not coming off here. There we go. All right, now we're gonna have to spritz with some shimmer spray. I got like a fuzz or something on this. Oops, I think I got rid of it. Oh, there it is. I think it's a piece of my linen thread from the other day. It's stuck on there. And it doesn't wanna come off. Hold on. There we go. All right. So we'll just stick three on each one. And give it a little bit of sparkle. And then we're gonna spray it and give it even more sparkle. And I think I've got six of them here now. My pile grew. We'll just stick one on here too never have enough all right anybody do anything fun today besides me like working all right so there we go we've got all of our rhinestones done now we're gonna shimmer let me get some scrap paper love it gotta give it all sparkle all right, so all of them have sparkles. So here we go. All of our cards today. Actually, that's six cards. So <laughs> I grabbed one that was already done. All right, so what do you guys think? That was pretty quick. What time did we start? Like 1045-ish? But we did extra. Um, Never-ending job of laundry, yes. I need an apron. That's exactly what I need, an apron. I have one, but I just never think about wearing it. That's all right. It'll come out when I uh, wash it. These I, I bought these, like, they. I think they originally were bathing suit cover-ups, and I bought them about 10 years ago, and I've been wearing these suckers, like, every day when I get out of the shower or when I'm just around the house or whatever. I just love them. And they're just these little dresses that have like spaghetti straps and polka dots and they're so cute. And I just wear them around the house and I just do everything in them. But they've lasted forever and I'm gonna be upset when they fall apart eventually one day. Yes, I do need to wear a an apron though. Um, yes, gift bags at the Dollar Tree are the best because they are the cheapest ones. All right, so what do you guys think about the cards? You love them? Give me a thumbs up and subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff for me. Leave a comment after the video is over. And I'm impressed how DSP is same pattern placement for each card. Oh, it is pretty much the same, isn't it? Almost. Most of them are the same. These, well, I cut a big stack of them. I think I just ended up getting most of them in the same spot because I did them in class. That is funny though. <laughs> it's like the exact same piece. This is the only one that's different. I have these two. So these are all the different ones. So this, this pattern goes with this side over here. So we've got these and these. I have a lot of different ones, but I cut them all in um, piles. So that's why they ended up like that. But I hope you like them. And um, thank you guys for getting up so early with me this morning. And, uh, watching and sipping your coffee and eating your breakfast and I hope you enjoyed it so um 
you have the whole rest of the day. Sorry, I won't be with you tonight for date night, but if you miss me, you can watch it again about seven o'clock. <laughs> so you guys take care. I'll be back on Tuesday with another video and um, have fun on your Saturday and hope you have time for some stamping and making some easy cards like this one. And I'll be back. Oh, don't forget, if you want to order anything, just go right here. You can order right there. It's Celebration. You get a free item from the Celebration catalog for your $50 order or more. Or if it's $100, you can get that Wonderful World one, this one. That's my favorite, favorite. You get the paper and the stamp set. And also, I'll send you a card kit. And the card kit for right now for the next two weeks is this one. So you get enough to make these three cards. I'll send you everything you need. And you can make those at home. So you guys enjoy your day. And I'll be back Tuesday. Bye-bye.